We all know how the horrible Starliner left two NASA astronauts stranded on the space station. They were supposed to be there for just 10 days, but instead, they ended up stuck in orbit for months. This failure only made things worse for Boeing, a company already struggling to prove itself in the modern space race. With billions in funding and years of delays, Starliner was supposed to be NASA's second crewed spacecraft, but instead, it became one of the biggest embarrassments in aerospace history. Boeing has been under constant fire for this massive failure, and rightfully so. But now, SpaceX has stepped in and done what Boeing couldn't, bringing the astronauts home safely aboard Crew Dragon. While the astronauts are finally back on Earth, there is still one big issue left, and that's exactly what we'll be discussing in this video. Before we delve any deeper, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future updates. It all started with NASA's decision to fund two companies under its commercial crew program, Boeing and SpaceX. The goal was to have two separate spacecraft capable of transporting astronauts to and from the International Space Station, reducing reliance on Russian Soyuz capsules. NASA, aiming to maintain competition, awarded Boeing a contract worth $4.2 billion while SpaceX received $2.6 billion to develop their own capsule. The expectation was that Boeing, a longtime aerospace giant, would easily deliver a reliable spacecraft. Meanwhile, SpaceX, still seen by some as a scrappy newcomer, was met with skepticism. However, as the years passed, a stark contrast emerged. SpaceX, with its aggressive development strategy and iterative testing approach, successfully launched its first crewed mission with the Crew Dragon capsule in 2020. Boeing, on the other hand, stumbled through delay after delay, riddled with technical failures. In 2019, Starliner's first uncrewed test flight was a disaster. A software malfunction caused the spacecraft to fire its thrusters incorrectly, preventing it from reaching the International Space Station. Had astronauts been on board, their lives could have been at serious risk. Despite this, NASA continued to support Boeing, allowing them to try again. More delays followed, and by the time Boeing finally launched its first crewed Starliner mission, SpaceX had already completed multiple successful human flights. Then came the moment that exposed just how deep Boeing's issues ran. Starliner was finally sent to space with two astronauts, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore. The mission was supposed to last only 10 days, a quick demonstration proving Starliner's capability before it would be certified for regular astronaut transport. But instead of returning after 10 days, the astronauts found themselves stranded for over eight months. The reason was simple. Starliner had major technical problems, ones that prevented it from safely bringing the crew home. Among the issues were problems with the propulsion system, leaks in the spacecraft, and concerns over whether its heat shield could survive re-entry. At this point, NASA faced a difficult choice. They had invested billions into Boeing's spacecraft, but it was now clear that relying on Starliner could put the astronauts' lives at risk. Boeing was unable to offer a clear solution to fix the capsule in orbit, meaning there was only one real option left. Ask SpaceX to bring the astronauts home. That's how Crew Dragon, a spacecraft developed for half the budget and already trusted by NASA for multiple missions, became the rescue vehicle for Boeing's stranded astronauts. While Boeing's capsule sat uselessly in orbit, Crew Dragon arrived at the International Space Station as part of another routine SpaceX mission, offering the two astronauts a safe return. Unlike Starliner, Crew Dragon had already proven its reliability many times before. It was designed with advanced life support systems, ensuring that astronauts had a stable and comfortable environment for extended periods. It maintained a perfect balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide, controlled humidity, and kept the cabin temperature within an ideal range. This meant that the astronauts inside could focus on their journey without worrying about environmental failures, something that could not be said for Boeing's troubled capsule. The spacecraft's controls were another major difference. While Boeing's Starliner used traditional manual controls that felt outdated by modern standards, Crew Dragon featured a sleek touchscreen interface, allowing astronauts to interact with the spacecraft 
much like using a high-tech tablet. But it wasn't just for show. The system was designed for precision, ensuring that astronauts could make quick and accurate adjustments even while wearing gloves. If necessary, the spacecraft could also switch to full manual mode, allowing the crew to take control in case of unexpected issues. As the astronauts boarded Crew Dragon, there was no doubt that they were stepping into a spacecraft that represented the future. Everything from the design of the seats to the integration of life support systems was built with efficiency, safety, and comfort in mind. Even the suits they wore had to be changed. SpaceX's custom-fitted astronaut suits were specifically designed to work with Crew Dragon's life support systems, meaning the ones used on Starliner were incompatible. From the outside, Crew Dragon also showed how far ahead it was. Its two-part design included a reusable capsule, which would return with the astronauts, and a trunk section, which housed solar panels and radiators for heat management. The capsule itself was equipped with a cutting-edge heat shield, designed to withstand the extreme temperatures of re-entry. Unlike Starliner, whose heat shield had raised concerns over its ability to protect the astronauts, Crew Dragon's shielding had already been tested multiple times in real missions, proving its effectiveness. As Crew Dragon successfully undocked from the International Space Station and began its journey home, it became clear that NASA had made the right call, even if it was a humiliating moment for Boeing. Despite the billions poured into Starliner, it was SpaceX that ultimately ensured the safe return of astronauts from a mission that should have never gone so wrong in the first place. This incident raises a crucial question about the future of American spaceflight. NASA has long relied on traditional aerospace giants like Boeing, even as they continue to underdeliver. Boeing's repeated failures contrast sharply with SpaceX's track record of success, proving that innovation and efficiency are more valuable than corporate reputation. Yet, despite everything, Boeing is likely to receive more funding and another chance to fix Starliner. You might think that since the astronauts have returned safely, Boeing's troubles with the Starliner program are over. However, the situation is far more dire. The financial impact of the Starliner program on Boeing has been substantial. As of early 2025, Boeing has incurred over $2 billion in losses related to the development and operational challenges of the Starliner spacecraft. In 2024 alone, the program reported a charge of $523 million, the largest single-year loss to date. These losses stem from multiple factors, including technical setbacks, schedule delays, and increased testing and certification costs. Facing these escalating costs and ongoing challenges, Boeing has been exploring strategic options for its space division. Reports from late 2024 indicate that the company considered selling its space business, including the troubled Starliner program. This move reflects Boeing's struggle to adapt to fixed-price contracts and maintain engineering quality in the competitive space industry. However, finding a buyer has proven challenging. The significant financial losses and technical issues associated with the Starliner program have made potential investors wary. As a result, Boeing faces the difficult decision of potentially canceling the Starliner program altogether. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more updates on the latest space news.